My novel is a detective novel. It's called My First London Dream. It follows the search by a hack actor called Billy Veermond, who is hired to look for a missing filmmaker, Felix Link, around Brixton and South London. The black car squatted on Stockwell Road. Billy Veermond clocked it on his way back from Brixton tube station. The regular gang gathered outside the Portuguese delicatessen across the road from his flat, swapping jokes over bottles of Superbock. I think detective novels are perfect novels in, the way, in a way. They, um, the detective acts as a sort of proxy for the reader. So as the detective discovers the story, so does the reader. Traffic tore up the tarmac beside them. A rogue gull dawdled over the skating park. Billy could only focus on the car. It looked like something from another world, old, stately and sleek, with one tyre hitched up on the curb, like a show dog cocking its leg. The reason I chose uh, an out-of-work actor as the detective for this book is that I wanted to um, explore the myth of the detective as well as the actual job. Billy took the route through Electric Avenue, where spoiling fruit lay scattered across the pavement, and the pissy smell of fish on ice rode the back of the breeze snaking down through the market. Place is important for a detective novel because detective fiction really investigates the places in which they're set. An old raster stood on the corner by a supermarket, selling incense from an upturned milk crate. Billy heard the old man's voice ring out behind him as he cut right onto Cold Harbour Lane, passing an old market barrow discarded outside a nail centre. And if you're going to set a, uh, a detective novel in London, I can't think of a better place than Brixton, because Brixton feels like the whole world has passed through it.